my crafty friends, it's Jenny from Origami Tree and today I'm going to show you how to make a light up postcard. So right now I'm sitting on the set of Sing, a new movie by Universal Pictures and Illumination and the movie is about a little koala named Buster Moon. He's sitting right over there. He is trying to save his theater from closing and he's doing that by hosting a singing competition. The movie super cute and in and out of the movie there were also little squids that are kind of like floating around in the background. I'm not going to give anything away but they're kind of cute and so I was inspired by the squids and I wanted to make a card that would light up. But before we begin, be sure to leave a comment below letting me know if you plan on watching this movie or not. And if you saw it already, which is your favorite part? And let's jump right in. To make the light up squid card, you're going to need a blank card or a piece of cardstock that is cut to size and fold in half. You're also going to need another piece of cardstock that is going to go right on top of the card and this just creates a nice little border for it. You're going to need a piece of vellum paper. So this one is 8.5 by 11 inches and it's going to fit straight into your standard printer. And the reason why we're using vellum paper is because it's a little bit more translucent. So as you can see, you can see through it so it diffuses light a little better. And basically what I did was I put it in the printer and I printed out a little piece of, um, you know, picture that I wanted. So these are the sing squids. I have a little blue one around little purple or light pink ones. That's just going to go right over there. And you also need a pair of scissors just in case you need to trim something to size. And another piece of cardstock that is going to um, cover your battery. So the battery that I'll be using is the CR2032 3 volt lithium battery. And I'm going to have all of the um, you know items listed in the video description as well. So you can go ahead and purchase some of these if you don't have it lying around. Um, this is going to go in here, so it should be a little bit bigger depending on you know what size battery you need. But it should be bigger than the battery and you should be able to sort of sandwich it like that. Another thing you're going to need is um, glue stick. So I have my glue stick here, some copper tape for conductivity to light up the LED stickers or the LED lights. And of course you're going to need the LEDs themselves. So these are LED stickers by Chibatronics and I have two white ones but I think I'm just going to be using one white one for today. Now you're going to need a bone folder or some kind of flat surface. This is kind of fancy but you can also use like a credit card or something. This is going to be uh, used to flatten the copper tape. So I have my bone folder, I have um, adhesive foam stickers so I have them in two sides is totally not necessary but I like to use the smaller squares and also the larger squares and these sort of just add dimension to your card. I'm going to have two markers here that I'm going to use to teach with so I can sort of like draw on the battery so you can see better and now that we have everything let's get started. So first I'm going to glue the lavender cardstock onto my actual card so it creates a really nice border. And next I want to take my picture and sort of just place it at the center and gauge where I want the LED light to go. So I kind of want it to go on his forehead. So I'm going to place it at the center and just mark on the lavender sheet of paper where the head is going to be. So the LED light is sort of going to be like around here. I'm going to draw a little triangle just to indicate that. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the battery holder and I'm going to place it at the lower right hand corner of where the image is going to be. So if I place it back to where it was before, you'll see that the battery pack is going to go right about here. So kind of hold it down a little bit to remember the spot. And then I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to glue on just the right side. So let me just mark a little line here with my pencil so I remember where it is. Dab a little bit of glue on the right flap only. And then glue it right over here. So now you have a little flap that's stuck to the card. So now that I have my little battery flap here, I'm going to place the battery with the negative side facing down. So this is the positive side and this is the negative side. Negative side is going to face down and help me out a little bit. I'm going to use my pencil and I'm going to trace around the battery so I know where it is for future reference. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but this is going to be the negative side right here. And so now I have that, I'm going to place my battery back 
down and I'm gonna use a orange marker to indicate the positive side. I'm gonna have positive side and what the positive side is going to do is it's going to go over the sheet of paper so it's going to go like straight down from where the LED light is and then it's going to go this way so it's going to go over the sheet of paper like that and then not only is it going to go over the sheet of paper but then it's going to go immediately under so it's going to go under the sheet of paper and then it's going to go straight up just like that so this is going to be the positive side and then on the actual battery you can see how this positive side is going to touch the left side of the battery so if this let me just draw it in so this could be like the positive these two lines are going to match up so now we're going to work on the negative side I'm going to have my other marker, so the turquoise one, is going to run parallel to the orange one. So orange is positive, let me just write that down. And then this, you know, is also positive, and then that is positive as well. And now this one is going to be the negative, and the negative is going to run parallel to the positive. And what we're creating here is, of course, a parallel circuit. So I'm going to have my LED light here. So I have a little uh, white LED light, and I want to gauge how big it is. So every LED light has a positive and a negative side. Um, the positive for this one is right here, and it's going to say it right there. So I'm going to gauge how big you know, the the parallel line is going to be. So it's going to be right here. And now I know the distance is right about over here because that's where the copper wire is going to touch and it's going to conduct electricity. So I'm going to put this LED light aside and draw myself a parallel line to the orange. So it's going to go over right here and you have to make sure that the positive and the negative side does not touch because otherwise you're going to have a short circuit and we don't want short circuits so we're going to make it parallel it doesn't have to be completely parallel but again it should not touch and so now it's going to go like this see and we're going to make it so that it goes up and when it goes up it's going to go right about here so right where this part is so you're going to draw that line make it go up and it's going to go all the way over here so this is negative so that it touches the negative side of the battery so that's negative that's negative and everything matches and then the positive one is going to touch the positive line so positive and positive negative and negative so now what you want to do is you want to take some of your copper tape so i'm just going to cut myself a strip of copper tape here and kind of gauge how long I want it so it should be right about there snip that off so I have one for the positive and one for the negative I'm gonna do the um, positive first just for consistency peel the adhesive off and then take the battery away for a second and then place the copper tape over the positive line so over the orange line in this case and so you want to make sure it's nice and flat so that it conducts electricity well. and then you're gonna snip off the excess. And then you can flatten it with your fingernails or you can use a bone folder. I'm gonna use a bone folder because I think it works better. And now you have a nice smooth surface right here that follows the positive line. So now we're going to do the negative and we're gonna do the exact same thing. So I'm going to go like that sort of gauge how long I want the copper tape. I'd rather cut more um, than not enough because then you have to do it over. So I always like to make it a little longer than it really is.
So now that we have the positive side covered and also the negative side cover, what we want to do is we want to make sure the circuit actually works. We're going to place the battery where it was before. So it goes like that. Hold it down. And now we're going to take our LED sticker or our LED light and we're going to match the positive side with the positive copper tape and the negative side with the negative. So I'm going to place it where the squid's head is, or the forehead. So I already made a triangle, you can sort of see it. And then I'm going to place it down like this. And then I'm going to close the battery pack and hope that it lights up. And it does. So the lights up like that. And that is exactly what we want. So that is good and that is done. And now we're going to use our uh, foam squares. I'm going to use the smaller foam squares. and. Essentially what I want to do is I want to create a button. So every time you push this button, the um, LED lights up, right? So we want to make sure that it's not continuously being pushed down, otherwise you'll like waste battery. Um, so I'm going to put the foam square on the right side of the battery, just like that. I'm going to place another foam square on the left side, like this, so that it kind of like holds it in place. And then I'm going to place one right below it. Right here. It doesn't matter if it goes over the copper tape, by the way. Place one above it. And what this foam square does is it keeps the battery not only in place, but it also keeps it from, you know, always being pushed down without you physically pushing it down. So you want to make sure that it works and it does. So then you take off the adhesive of the squares. Take that off. Um, take this one off. And also this one. There we go. So now we're going to close the battery case or the battery pocket or holder or whatever you want to call it. And now it should not light up. So now I'm going to place my image that I printed on vellum paper over everything I just did. So I'm gonna place it right about here so that I leave some space to write a title or um, something like that. And so I'm gonna take, actually I'm gonna take a larger square since we're covering a larger surface area and I'm gonna flip it around, place one on the corner here, place another one at the opposite corner take that apart and then I'm gonna flip it around just for now so I can see exactly where I want to put it I'm just gonna place it face down like this make sure it's straight at the top like that now we're just going to um, tape down this corner right here to lower right and lower left everything all taped down our card is completely finished and you just kind of push the button over here and his forehead lights up so let me just close out the lights and show you it's pretty cool and here's how it looks like with the lights closed Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and found it helpful. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button to receive all notifications from Origami Tree. I post new videos all year round and I really don't want you to miss them. And thank you so much Universal Pictures and YouTube Space New York for allowing me to use this space and building this beautiful set. So I hope to see you guys soon and um, yeah, bye!